Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Coach Tracy Davis, MySuccessZone.com. MySuccessZone.com. Come on, let's fill this room. Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. I'm so excited to see everyone this morning. I hope that you're having a great, great day so far. It is 9 a.m. on the East Coast, right? So that means it's 6 a.m. on the West Coast. So good morning and good afternoon to those of you that are tuning in to me a little bit later. My goal whenever I come on is to encourage you, to inspire you, and to push you into your destiny. That is what my role is here on the planet. So get excited. All right, I come on every morning clapping, shifting atmospheres, helping, hoping that I'm sharing some joy with you. Good morning, Nabu's mom. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Good morning, Vicky. Good morning, Shelly. I see you guys over there on Facebook. Good morning, YouTube. I hope that you all are having a great, great morning. You decided by commanding it. You decided by saying, you know what? Today is a great day uh, that you're going to enjoy it. So. I hope that you've already declared that with your mouth. I hope you're already being positive. I hope you're smiling. I hope you've already uh, told God thank you for waking you up today, right? If you haven't, you need to go ahead and do that because he's the one that woke you up this morning. Good morning, hon. Currently working and we'll be in and out. Okay, won't be on here long, but thank you so much for hopping in, okay? I really, really appreciate that, okay? I will leave this up for those of you that have to hop out off, but I want to give you a word of encouragement, okay, uh, to help you with your day, okay? So again, my name is Tracy Davis. I'm a business and success coach. You can actually click the link in my bio to get more information about my products and my services. Currently, we're actually using one of my books this week, Push Points with Tracy Davis, and you need to get a copy of it. I'm telling you, it will be a life changer for you. I've had men and women tell me this book was a game changer for them. So make sure you get a copy. You can get the physical copy, audio, or you can get the ebook and start reading it right away, okay? So um, the other thing is, if you're in business, I have a workshop that you can actually take. The workshop is available available and it takes probably about an hour hour and a half to go through the workshop but if you don't know what business you should be in it's a great workshop to, uh, to check out okay so click that link in my bio to get that information so good morning the love is good morning Fifi good to see everybody this morning I trust that all is well all right so we're gonna be reading out of uh, my book this morning on page 49 for those of you that have the book it's on page 49 and our topic is all you need is one idea all you need is one idea. And, you know, um, I had actually posted earlier today, don't despise small beginnings. You know, a lot of times we can discount what God gives us. He'll give us an idea and we'll let it go, right? And I don't want you to do that. So I want to read just a quick excerpt. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for the waves. Thanks for the hearts. Thank you for sharing. I really, really do appreciate that. So this is uh, how it begins. Good ideas are common, but what's uncommon are people who will work hard enough to bring them about. That's Ashley Brilliant. Do you believe that all you need is one idea? I do. I've seen it so many times. One idea leads to other ideas and can really facilitate massive amounts of success. Take media mogul, Mr. Tyler Perry. Everybody knows about Mr. Tyler Perry, right? Now, whether you like him or not, I believe the guy is a genius. He's the creator of Medea, a huge, loud, no-nonsense character, which according to him is based upon many different women in his family. He took that character and made millions, billions probably, with her. And what started out as a skit turned into plays, then movies, and then very successful television shows. And of course, now we know he owns his own studio, right? He is brilliant and blessed. He took one idea and many other ideas were birthed. Now, you can continue to read that in the, in the chapter for those of you that have the book, but I really want to encourage you today to say, I want you to be open to ideas because I believe that ideas are always being dropped by God. I believe that he'll give you an idea, but you have to be open, right? So that's the first thing we want to remember today. Be open to ideas. Now, there are ideas, right? Good ideas, and there are God ideas. I want to ask God to send me a God idea, right? Give me a God idea, Lord. I'm excited to be able to receive and to be able to do some great things, but you have to be open. So you get the idea and then I want you to get excited about the idea, right? Give it a chance to not just come, but give it a chance to be planted into you so you can get excited about it enough to believe in the idea. And of course, ideas come, but I'm talking about good ideas, 
right? Good ideas. And I'll give you an example of something that really, really blessed me. After that, you, you're really getting the belief factor up pertaining to your idea. Then you need to be willing to work hard enough to bring the idea to pass. That's the difference between people that have ideas and people that birth them. So I gave the example of Tyler Perry, but I mean, you can just think of so many other people, maybe even in your own life. I remember years ago, my uh, son, a lot of people know my son, Masego, he was a baby and he would cry a lot. And it just hit me while um, I was changing him one day, and this is personal, but I was changing him one day and I was like, babies cry because these wipes are cold, right? That idea came to me, get a wipe warmer. And I um, started the process of how do you get a patent for a, a wipe warmer, right? Y'all know what I'm talking about as far as babies and they have the little wipes and things like that because they're cold. And I was like, my goodness, this is a great idea. And guess what? I ran into patent issues and this is going to cost this and it's going to, you have to do all of this and you know, all these details. And I lost my enthusiasm for it. I'd share it with someone and they're like, ooh, that's, that's going to take a lot of money. Ooh, that's going to take a lot of time. And slowly but surely, my idea just kind of fizzled out, fizzled out, fizzled out. And I became discouraged and I let it go. Well, probably about two years later, and I kid you not, I was in Walmart. <laughs> and I was on the baby aisle. And guess what I saw? A wipe warmer. I got weak in my knees because I said that was my idea. I had the idea and I didn't work hard enough to make it come to pass. And so I don't know if that's ever happened to you before, but guess what? If you don't do it, somebody else will. Why can't it be you? All right. And so now I get ideas and I run with them, right? I take them as far as I can, right? And I believe that when you do that, God will put his super on your natural, but you got to give him something to work with. Now, I don't know if I gave the people my idea when I called about the patent and somebody else took it. You know, sometimes you'll see those commercials and they're like, call, we'd like to get your thing patented. We can help you. You know what I mean? I don't know what happened, but I do know that I dropped the ball. And I said that, you know, from then on, I'm not dropping any more balls. Anything that God gives me, I'm going to run with it. And we know, of course, you're going to, if you're a creative, you always have ideas. You always want to create something, right? That's how we're made. But sometimes there's a God idea. And so I want to impress upon you and encourage you that if you have, there's been something that keeps coming to you, comes to you in a dream. It's something that you can't let go. Don't let it go because it only takes one idea, one idea. Like years ago, I had a, a conference. God had placed it on my heart. I do a conference every single year. Now, of course, because of uh, COVID, I haven't been able to do my live conferences, but I love to be live. I love to be on stage. I love to get a chance to pray and shake hands and all that stuff. So I'm looking forward to getting a chance to do that again. But anyway, God told me that year that I was to do a conference and it was called Push, right? Push. And so I did the conference, I invited my speakers, and it was amazing. I actually have some excerpts of some of the sermons probably on YouTube somewhere. And it was great. Everybody was excited. You know, men, women, everybody was all, all pumped about it. But when I finished, I didn't feel like it was finished. I felt like there was more that I had to give. So this idea came to me to go online and continue it. Nobody was doing that at that time. I called it a cyber conference and we did it for, I don't know, another four sessions. I don't know. I can't remember because it was like 2013. So I don't remember if we did it four more days or if we did one a week for four weeks. I can't remember, but I know there were four more sessions and it was glitchy and all of that trying to make it happen. But that was the idea that I had, right? Once I did that, and people were blessed, you know, being able to tune in and listen to me and some of the other speakers that I had invited, I still didn't feel like it was finished. So guess what? I wrote a book, right? And then after I wrote the book, I was like, wow, I should do an audio book. So I did an audio book and created an audio from it. So this, that one idea that came from God started out as a conference, a live conference that became a cyber conference, that became a book, that became an audio book, that became an ebook. And guess what? It became a part of one of my best selling uh, books. And now it's a journal. So many ideas uh, in the chapters. T-shirts were birthed from it because some of the chapter titles. Take your ideas, bring them before God and say, God, what can I do with this? And I tell you what, one idea can lead to other ideas and you can be blessed. It only takes one. It only takes one. Now, of course, I'm an author. I've written several books, but I'll tell you what, push means a lot to me. It means a lot to me because this represents the power of one idea.
Okay, so guys, that's all I have to share today. I just wanted to encourage you to take the ideas, to take the promptings from Holy Spirit as he's speaking to you. Don't discount it. Don't feel like it's impossible. You know, do the work, do the research, work hard for it. Make sure you believe in it, right? And make sure you keep taking it to God. And guess what? He will put his super on your natural. You just have to give him something to work with. That's what he's looking for. He's looking for someone that'll take the idea that he'll give you and that you'll be willing to be his hands, be his feet, be his mouthpiece, be someone that says, you know what? I'll do it, God. I'll take the ball and I'll run with it. Okay. So I hope you're encouraged. I hope you, all these pop-ups on here. I, hope, I can't even see y'all's comments. Let me see if I can move that out of the way. But anyway, I hope that you're encouraged uh, and I hope you are inspired. Remember the quote for today is don't despise small beginnings. Okay. If it was it, just because it's small now, it does not mean that it will always be small. You just have to continue to believe. You have to continue to pray. You have to continue to work, right? You got to work. You got to work. Um, you know, again, God will do his part, but he expects you, us, we to do our part. Okay, so let's go ahead and pray. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. I feel like somebody needed to hear this today. If that person isn't here and you feel like, man, my girlfriend should have heard this, make sure you share this, okay? And make sure you let me know in the comments, hey, this was for me. I really, really appreciate that. And thank you for the hearts. Hey, Facebook. Hey, IG. Hey, YT. Right, YouTube. I appreciate all of you. So God, we just come this morning thanking you and praising you for this amazing day. Thanking you for keeping us yet another, through another night, Lord God, bringing us through danger, seen and unseen. We give you all the the glory, all the praise, and all the honor. I pray for each person that is watching live and also watching the replay. I pray if you've given them an idea that they have slept on, that they'll wake up and they'll get excited again. And God, that you'll put your super on their natural Lord God and help them to birth the dreams that they have from that one idea. I speak blessings upon them today. Let them be focused. Let them be positive, Lord God. Keep them safe, oh God. I plead the blood of Jesus over them. I claim Psalms 91 that no plague shall come nigh their dwelling. We thank you and we praise you. Thank you for the shot in the arm. Thank you for this encouragement. We believe we receive now in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. So guys, have an amazing day. Thanks for tuning in. If you're interested in business tips, join me again tonight. I'll be here right after Bible study. I have Bible study at 7.30. Then I'll be here at 9 p.m. Eastern. Your girl is busy, but guess what? I am going to continue to pour into you as long as he pours into me. Have a great day and God bless. God is so good. Tap in. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.